Welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. Today, what we're going to do is recover an underexposed image. Now, you know that you have an underexposed image if you come over to your exposure slider and you bring this up by two stops and it looks like the exposure that you would be acceptable with to start editing your image. I'm not saying that this is the exact exposure that I should have gotten out of camera, but this would have been more uh, satisfying to get out of camera than what I ended up getting, which is this. Now, I've already added some noise reduction using no noise AI, so I'm not going to go through that. But if you have an image that needs it, then you definitely want to do that before you start working on your image. So, and I'll also make note that I'm using a raw image. If you look here, I have a .cr3 file. This works best if you're using a raw image to create the effect that we're gonna make. So, first thing that we're gonna do is pull up on the shadows. And this is the reason why you need to have a raw photo. Uh, and we're just gonna pull up until it gets to that exposure that I would have been okay with out of camera. Now, if you start getting those weird artifacts, then that because of noise, then maybe that's where you need to throw in the no noise AI or go into another noise editing software. But once you get to a point where you're like, OK, I would have been happy getting this out of the camera, you're going to duplicate the layer. Now that we have the duplicate, I'm just going to rename this dupe one. And then we're going to come over here to our blending options. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to select screen and look at that. I've already recovered a lot of light that would have been lost otherwise, but it is in the photo now. And if I turn this off and on, you'll really see the night and day difference. It's like I turned on the lights or I threw in more exposure, but I didn't. Now, the beauty of working on this particular layer, uh, because as you can see, I just have more shadows opened up here. Uh, and then the blend mode is what's making this really happen. So if I were to pull down on these shadows, you'll see I start to impact the image. But I get another opportunity to affect the shadows. And I'm not losing any detail or uh, introducing more artifacts into the image. So this is why this technique works well. Um, if you're like, you know what, I really want to blend this a little bit differently. Well, you have a layer mask and you can paint in. So if I were to invert this and I just wanted to paint in the light like right there, look at that. I can do that. Now, I'm not saying that this is the edit that I would go with. The options become so much more interesting, right? Uh, especially if you want to direct the viewer's eye in the photo. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, smash the like button. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing. Until the next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.